What's up guys? Welcome back. Today's Thursday. So you know what that means? Ticket tip Thursday time. Yes. Like always, my name is Shiraz here on Thumbs Up Run, where we talk about buying tickets, selling tickets, and making sure that you have all the fun with your tickets. Today is all about ticket disclosures, so we're going to jump into it really quick, but there's a few things we do need to cover. One, what are ticket disclosures? Two, what kind of disclosures are we going to find related to vaccinated seating sections, vaccinated tickets, COVID tickets, that kind of thing? What are we going to find there? And then three, how do you actually go ahead and identify these things when you're going ahead and buying those tickets? Strap in, it's going to be a quick one, so let's go. All right, so first off, what are ticket disclosures? Essentially, when you go in to buy that seat or ticket, there are certain descriptive words, keywords that you may identify or see when you're going ahead and actually trying to buy that seat. Some of the most common ones are side view, rear view seating. Sometimes it can be something as simple as, you know, a will call delivery versus mobile ticket delivery, depending on where you're looking for these seats. And then you may also see the more common one related to ADA type seating. This seating is reserved for individuals who require that type of seating. So again, if you see that type of disclosure when you're going ahead and buying those tickets, make sure it applies to you because you don't want to end up buying a ticket that you can't use. Now, there are some new disclosures that have started to creep up, specifically around COVID vaccine type rules. As I mentioned in a previous video, many organizations are moving towards adding vaccinated seating sections, and these seating sections require a separate disclosure because they're acting differently than how a non vaccinated seating section would work. Let me explain. In a non-COVID seating section, those are basically how we're dealing with tickets right now with pods. So seats are, you know, separated between three or six feet apart. Uh, they're in groups of two, four, six, whatever the case may be. And they're all kind of spread out so that everyone is, you know, in their own little bubble, their own little private space. Everyone is happy. With the new seats that they've rolled out in vaccinated seating sections, these sections are not spread out at all. Seats are right beside each other. Everyone is all together, all having a great time. So when these tickets are purchased and sold, there is a requirement for the individuals using these tickets to actually have been vaccinated fully. Teams and venues will be checking this prior to your entry into the venue. So if you haven't been fully vaccinated, you cannot use these types of seats. It's all well and good. You can go ahead and decide which seating section applies to you, which ones you are comfortable sitting in. And that's great. However, it can be a bit difficult trying to identify which type of tickets you are purchasing. And because of that, we're going to dive into a few examples of what it looks like to buy tickets on Ticketmaster and a few resale marketplaces such as StubHub and Vivid Seats. Let's begin. So first off, we're gonna take a look at a New York Yankees example here. First thing you see when you get to a ticket page, obviously you get the disclosure saying, you know, trying to reopen safely, blah, 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 accept the terms and conditions. Fantastic, wonderful, excellent. Let's continue. So what you can see here is this entire venue, there are many seats available. And just when you hover over them, you take a look and you zoom in, everything kind of looks the same. You can't identify which is, you know, vaccinated seating section, which is not. So right now when I look around and I'm trying to buy seats, I can take a look and see, and I zoom in, I can see there's these seats are all in pods. You can see there, group of four, blah, blah, blah. Every seat is the same altogether. The way the New York Yankees have done it is a bit interesting. They said, if you want to purchase seats in a vaccination friendly seating section, you can go ahead and type in the code vaccine and it will unlock all the eligible seats that are available to you. And now I'm being presented with seats that are eligible for vaccine eligible sections. As you can see, the amount of sections available to you have now changed completely because these are the only sections where you can sit in vaccination friendly zones. And again, teams are putting these seats all over the entire venue. So you do have options at different price points, different locations around the venue to be able to find and pick and choose what it is you want to do in terms of your seating options. Now, if you look at NFL tickets, it's a bit different because they are going under the assumption that all seats will be able to be sold at 100% capacity. And so there are no disclosures on any of the seats. It's a bit of a different way of doing it. But again, they do have their initial disclosure on the main page that says, you know, this event is subject to COVID rules and safety guidelines. So it may be subject to change. However, the seats themselves, there is no initial requirement for that seat to be sold to only a vaccinated individual unless that venue requires it. These seats are not being restricted to vaccinated versus non-vaccinated seating sections. So again, do make sure you're paying attention because this could potentially be an issue if you do want to sit in a certain type of zone. Last one on Ticketmaster, the Brooklyn Nets, the way they've done it, they've actually separated their event into two separate types. One event is actually for vaccinated seating sections only, and the other event is for non-vaccinated seating sections. So again, make sure you double check, pay attention to where you're actually going to be sitting and what kind of seats you do want. If we jump on over into resale marketplaces, again, the, the type of location of where to look for these disclosures can be a bit different, uh, but we'll just jump into a few different options. So I know with this event specifically, there are vaccinated seating sections and non-vaccinated seating sections. So as you can see here, these two seats down here, 
there are some additional restrictions or limitations. So that's kind of a good idea or a good way to identify if there are any disclosures. So I scroll down again, mobile ticket, but then you see down here, full vaccination required to sit in this section. So this is gonna be their first place for you to go ahead and take a look, see if there is a requirement for these seats. These disclosures are there for a reason, when you get your ticket, it should also say it on the ticket itself, whether there are any disclosures as well. So that should be another way for you to identify if you do or don't require to have any kind of COVID vaccine, depending on the type of seats you're sitting in. Now, last two examples are both on vivid seats. They do things a little bit different, but it's still kind of the same thing. So if I know that this section here, 420B is a vaccinated section, you can see the disclosure right in front of you saying vaccinated section. You know that this seat's going to have some kind of COVID vaccine requirement. So if you go ahead and drill down a little bit further, you can even see, it'll give you in the notes, it'll tell you right there, vaccinated fan section, you require proof of vaccination. Now, going back to the Blue Jays, we know there are certain sections where there are vaccinated seating sections mixed in with non-vaccinated seating sections. So putting a disclosure on this entire section doesn't work in this instance. So instead, you gotta pay attention to see what the notes are. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a look at the disclosures. I can just jump into this section here. And let's see, that means there is no requirement for proof of vaccination. However, if you go to a seat where there is requirement, such as one over here, you can see this section here, vaccinated fan sections. So again, disclosure is there. So again, be careful, make sure you pay attention to what you're actually purchasing. Don't just zoom through the entire process, assuming everything will be fine because it won't necessarily always work out that way. So that's a look into multiple platforms, how they actually go ahead and make those disclosures available to you. Again, if there are no disclosures being made in the notes section, specifically around fan vaccinated seating sections or a requirement for proof of vaccination, you can go to the assumption that those seats do not require it. But but with that being said, one, always double check with the venue because they may have specific rules of entry into the venue. And as well, do make sure that you pay attention to your tickets themselves. Make sure when you get them, take a look at them, see if there is any other additional requirements. If there are and they weren't disclosed, contact your exchange immediately, see if everything is as it should be. If it is, congratulations, go ahead, go to the event, it's gonna be great. If it's not, they'll hopefully deal with it as soon as possible. If you guys have any questions at all, reach out to me below in the comments. Otherwise, hit me up on Twitter or Instagram, thumbs up run. I'll get back to you guys right there because I wanna make sure you guys can all get into your events safely and as smoothly as possible. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely let me know by hitting the like button down below. Also, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Great new content coming out every single week. And see you guys next time.